Good morning everyone, it is about 8 o'clock in the morning, we are on Tuesday, uh, so I thought I'd take a quick walk and go and see what's on in, what's in at Aldi, sorry I couldn't get my words out then, so yeah it's not too far from where I live which is great. So I'm just showing you lots of rubble, I don't know what they're doing here, um, but yeah, it's a busy morning, it's not too bad, there's a few clouds in the sky, but um, that's why I like to get out early, just in case it does decide to rain, um, yeah, so I'm just going to cross the road and then I'll be back with you in a minute. So here we are at Aldi. Yep, made it. Whew. It's a nice day, all things considering. Let's see if Aldi have got any good things in today. I'm feeling a bit out of breath. Sorry if me filming is a bit dodgy. My hands can tend to shake a bit. Yep. So I'm just gonna go and get myself a trolley. I'll do. Oh, look at that. I don't even have to pay for one. We like that, don't we? Here we are. Love me some blueberries. Lovely. Not bad. Fine. Why is fruit so expensive? Strawberries. Yum. Oh, I might get myself some cherries. Well, maybe. Raspberries. Raspberries. Yeah. grapes. Lovely. So just the usual, fruit, veg. Ooh, avocados. Right when ready. These are quite good actually, not bad. Big bag of stir fry there. And bean sprouts, but anytime I buy bean sprouts, by the time I get them home, they've gone off already. 
lots of salads. Okay, what's on the other side? Oh, tomatoes. Those are ones on the vine, I think. Don't want those. I mean, tomatoes have gone way up. Way up in price. What are we looking at next? Oh, some herbs. Love me some herbs and spices. The spices don't seem to have gone up too much. Love garam masala. There's some fresh herbs there. And I've not seen these seasoning tins before. Some Mexican barbecue. Mm. Sriracha, sweet and sour seasoning. And uh, Texan Steakhouse. So these were £1.49. I probably should have picked up one, but I didn't. Baked beans with sausages and spaghetti. Prices seem reasonable. Look how much Heinz beans are three pound ninety nine. Those puree um, things are quite good. Oh, pink onions. Never tried those before. Got some sliced beetroot here. And jalapenos. Capers, I'm not a fan. Antipasti. Yeah, here we've got just uh, oils. I needed to pick up some oil. I don't mind the rapeseed one. And coconut oil. These kits are really good. I really like them. I tried the red, the Thai red, and the the green one. I haven't tried the Pad Thai though, but very good. And these cooking sauces are nice as well. Some coconut milk there, always handy to have in. Little stirring sauces for convenience. Oh, 
Lots of pastas and spaghetti and noodles and things. I haven't had tagliatelle, is that it, in years. Try colour pasta, not tried that yet. So lots to ch And we're going into hams. Thirty percent off there, not bad. Brisket. Don't think I've had that. Pastrami. What is the difference between brisket and pastrami? I don't know. Ready to eat chickens. So a whole array of hams there. We've got some dips. Dough ball dip. Never tried that before. You've got your herb dips. Oh, these look nice. And some pizzas. Buffalo milk ricotta and spinach. Okay. Although I've never tried gnocchi, so if anybody has, let me know how it tastes. Look at that big cookie. Oh. So they look nice, but I don't know if it's for me. What have we got here? Tomato and mascarpone. Tomato and basil, pasta sauces, triple cheese fries. Oh, I gained the weight just saying those words. This plant menu range isn't bad actually. I've never tried the coronation chickpea curry, so I might give that a go. Two pound thirty nine. If you go in Asda, they're way more expensive. Pulled beef, bean chilli. Sounds nice. Chicken and prawn paella. Not a huge fan of noodles, but now and again, why not? So they've got a wide variety. So that's a char suey pork. Gunpowder potatoes, never heard of those, but that's probably just the seasoning you put on to make them spicy. Yeah, lots of um, ready meals. So you don't have to be standing all day slaving over a hot stove. Real good variety. What else have we got here? Ooh, beef, 
pepper down. I never had that before. I'm not sure if that's a new thing. Ooh, steak hash. Wow. Love an onion bhaji. So like I said, you have a really good um, variety. Lots of yogurts. I do like a yogurt. I do. Not all the time, but once in a while. It's nice. And the price. And we've got some planters, plant pots. Is that what they are? Yeah, really big ones. And not heavy at all. If I had a big garden, I'd, I'd buy some of these. I really would, but I've just got a small balcony space. But they look lovely. Excuse my uh, finger in the picture. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Thank you. So screws and things, what's this? A carpenter square, okay. <coughs> There's so much you can get in Aldi now. It is amazing. Yeah, screwdriver and kit set, not bad. A replicating saw, whatever that is. Oh, please. We have here some diffusers and candles and toners. I think these are new in from La Cura. 2% BHA toner. Yeah, this is new. I've not seen these. Mixology. Lots of different scents there. Oh, do you know what? I'm looking for a nice little saucepan. Nine ninety nine, not a bad price. Not a bad price. Lots of things to go in your fridge. Keep your eggs safe. Lemon chopping board. Very nice. Avocado one. Oh, egg cup and spoon. Aren't these cute? One ninety nine. A little flamingo one. Oh, she's back with the finger again. The wet set collection. This looks good. And we've been getting some lovely weather. So much stuff. Solar light things for your gardens. They look pretty. Like I said, if you've got a space, so many things, barbecues, we're coming up to that weather. A kettle barbecue there. Not bad price for a barbecue. And a wooden step planter. That's nice, I like that. Lots and lots of stuff. Oh, hello. 
for your garden to brighten it up beautiful things here's a hanging basket it's all fake the flowers and everything 15.99 i don't know if i pay that for it but it is nice you've got some embossed labels there Latin storage boxes and more diffusers, patchouli and tonka bean, mm. grapefruit, amber and vetiver, some tinted moisturizers and collagen lip oil. This is really good, the lip oil. Lots of candles and ceramic burners and wax melt kits so I think those are new because I've not seen them in before the wax burners and lastly we'll take a look here oh those orchids look beautiful don't they and you've got some fake ones here they're nice the trailing plants $4.99, not bad. I do want to get my little balcony area, you know, looking bright and beautiful. So I will definitely be coming back here. Gorgeous, gorgeous things they've got. Oh, those look nice, don't they? Why is she going backwards? I don't know. Am I? Lacura. I am a fan of loads of things, oven dishes, chopping boards, I'm alright for frying pans but they look nice, more cutting boards, you get two there different colours, grey and a marley type colour. Wooden utensils. One's a turner, one's a slotted turner. Okay. here trekking poles pretty much like a walking stick isn't it oh isn't that cute <laughs> so kiddies toys And these are things to like put over your sockets, which is always good. Baby moisturizer. Oh, who do we have here? The Joker. So a lot of things for the young ones. That was wipe clean activity placemats. Keep them busy, possibly. <laughs> yeah, I think they've got something for mothers, fathers, kids, you know.
So yeah, they've got quite a lot in. I will definitely be coming back and taking a longer look, especially at the garden things. Ooh, wooden baby doll care set, lovely. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. My name's Ivy. Uh, happy to be here with you again. Uh, this video, yeah, um, is an Aldi one. So I hope you like the come, da come dine with me, come shop with me part of it. I've never done that before, but, you know, hopefully one will get better. And now I thought I'd show you a bit of the haul. But before I do that, thank you to new subscribers. I truly appreciate you. And existing subscribers, you don't know how thankful and grateful I am to you all. But I'm going to continue to say this until I hit my target. I am wanting to get to a thousand subscribers. I can only do that with your help and subscribing to my channel. So if you just happen upon my video today, hi, thank you. Uh, I hope you'll stay till the end. And um, yeah, subscribe, give a thumbs up if you do like the video. And uh, that would make me very, very happy. So what day are we on today? Tuesday. And it's not a bad day here in Manchester in England. Yeah, we've been, we've been having a few nice days of weather. So long may it continue. I hope the weather is okay where you are. So yeah, Aldi. So let's get into it. Got some heavy duty bin bags or refuse sacks. These don't seem too bad actually. Because, you know, when you get the thin ones, it's annoying. Because I have to put two or three of them together. You know what I mean? And it's horrible when you're pulling the bag out of the bin and it just rips and... So, yeah, even if, I don't think I should have to put two on, but even if I have to put two on, I think that will be okay. So I got about, I got three. So there's one more lurking about somewhere. What else did one get? I got some more Lenore, what are they called? Scent boosters. I can smell it through the thing. Smells nice. This is Spring Awakening. I've had this one before. They do sell like Aldi's own brand. This one was about two ninety nine, and I think Aldi's own brand was about two seventy nine or something. So there wasn't that much in it. But yeah, I do like these. Um, you know, when you take the clothes out of the washing machine, I do like the smell. I got some yogurt. This is mango, papaya, and passion fruit. Yum. From Brooklyn. I can't think of the price. Sorry about that. If I do find the receipt, then I'll pop the prices up when I'm editing, she says. What else have I got? I've got some seasoning. So, garam masala. I do like this seasoning a lot. I got that. What else did I get? I got some Nivea eye makeup remover. So it's always good, you know, if you have the mascara or eyeshadow. I like that. I always pick up a couple of sandwiches for my son, just chuck them in the fridge. And he likes tuna and sweet corn. And they're good till the 25th of May, which is, I don't know, Friday. So... Okay, sandwiches are about one pound ninety, one pound eighty to ninety. Um, I got some coconut milk. I always like to have one in my cupboard. And I got some of these jam and cream donuts, but they look like eclairs. They were eighty five pence for two. I know Aldi pretty much do the same thing, and and they have. The same thing like this, but uh, I think theirs were about one pound ten or something. I got some Alcaf 
coffees. I think you get eight in here. Their vanilla latte. I just like to keep them in because, you know, sometimes I've got coffee granules, but sometimes if I run out of milk, then I just use these ones. Uh, what else? That's the other bin bag. Refuse sacks. And I got a salad. Char grilled chicken Caesar salad. Yeah, and I think you get a bit of a sachet of dressing. And you get your croutons as well. I might have that today. Who knows? What else has one got? And I've got another salad. This is a sweet and crispy salad. Good until Friday. I got some diced chicken, chicken breast. Yeah, I can do half as like a little chicken curry or something. <coughs> Sorry, and then the other half, my son can do like chicken wraps. Yeah, now I got this, which is Lecura 2% BHA toner. Yeah, exfoliates and refines. I know this is a dupe for something. Um, one second. So yeah, the Lecura 2% BHA toner. I think it's a, this is a dupe for, one second, the Paulus Choice 2% BHA toner. This one was 4 99 there it is, yeah. Um, the other one is around about £34. So, there you go. What else? I got um, Hydrated Tinted Moisturiser. Yeah, it's got an SPF of 30. And it has squalene and hydrochloric acid in it. So, that's the colour. Now, a lot of the times... This colour doesn't match anything inside this tube, colour-wise. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes, and it's sealed, sometimes I just, you know, I don't want to put on a heavy foundation, just a little bit to, you know. So that's the colour. That's not too bad, actually. Yeah, that's not too bad. So that is just like a tinted moisturiser. Yeah. It rubs in really nicely. Yeah, it rubs in nicely. And um, then when it starts to oxidise with the skin, you know, that helps. So, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. And uh, I can't remember how much this was. I think it was about £4, four pounds, four or five pounds. And that is the hydrated tinted moisturiser. Now, I think this is a dupe for Hourglass Skin Tint. And theirs are around £55. Pounds. And this one was, again, for, yeah, four ninety nine. So four ninety nine, as opposed to fifty five pounds. I know which one I'm getting. I also picked up this Lecura collagen lip oil. Now my lips are always dry. I find that they have been, and I'm going through lip glosses like a mad person. But yeah, this is the Lecura collagen lip oil or gloss does it say gloss no oil with collagen shea butter and vitamin e so it's a small thing you only get about eight millimeters milliliters in it so there yeah and this is a dupe apparently for charlotte tilbury lip oil and this is this one is three pound forty nines 
and the Charlotte Tilbury one, well, that would be considerably more knowing Charlotte Tilbury. Well, I don't know her, but you know what I mean. And this comes in a roller ball, but I've got a bit of lip gloss on already, so I'm not going to put it on. But yeah, it feels very nice. Don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So it's a nice little thing to have in your bag. And as I said, that was £3.49, a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. So, yeah. And I also got the Lacura Hot Cloth in Pineapple, Pineapple Cleanser. Yeah, I am a huge fan of these. So, there you go. And you get your little cleanser cloth. Yeah, now I have been lucky that I've been given, not, you know, sponsored, but family gave me the Lizzo one, which this is a dupe for, the Lizzo hot cloth cleanser. And I've had the Lizzo toner and I've also had the Lizzo day cream. All fantastic. I've even got some Lizzo shampoos and conditioners. But yeah, that's what it's a dupe for. But these ones are really good. And they're about 2 99 Yeah, Lizzo's can be like anything from like 20 to £30. Pound. So this is vegan friendly. You get 200 millilitres in, so a good amount. And it's skincare with pineapple extract, cocoa butter and aloe vera. And it does leave your skin feeling really nice. And I love it when, you know, I get the cloth hot, as hot as I can stand and just drape that over my face. It's bliss. So, yeah, I've got those things. Um, I've got a few more things, so let's get on with that. Sorry, a bit of spinach and, yeah, in a curry. So I'll let you know what these taste like. Well, I've had another one before. I can't remember which one I've had. But they're not bad. They're not bad at all. I also got some tagliatelle. Yeah, this is the fresh one. And this one was a bit cheaper. They had the other one. Um... Yeah, but that was a bit more from the specially selected range, but that was a little bit more. So I haven't had tagliatelle for a long while and I'm probably saying it wrong, but there you go. Got some grapes. Wonky white grapes. Nothing wrong with the wonky range. Uh, a Kit Kat. Four of the chunky ones. So I, I always have a nice little bag if my daughter or whomever come round, you know, I can offer them something. I got some pineapple chunks. Why are pineapple chunks so expensive? I think they're leaking a bit. I don't know. It's a pineapple. I got some gra gravy granny. <laughs> I was looking in the cupboard the other day and I looked at one of these. I had one of these in the cupboard from 2020. I thought, girl, you can't use that. So this one is okay till 2024. And I do sort my cupboards out. It was just that one thing. I got some rapeseed oil. Is it cold? Is it rapeseed? Yeah, cold pressed rapeseed oil so i quite like this one it's about two pound 25 is it or 29 but i know it's two pounds something i got some wonky blueberries these were about 90 pence and we're coming to the last few things now some milk i like to have milk in and 
uh, I got some bacon, unsmoked bacon, yeah. And two last things now, let me just move the camera a little bit. You can see more of me. <laughs> okay. Uh, my son likes these lemon and lime fruit uh, flavoured waters. They're not the sparkling ones, they're just the still ones. So I've got that four pack. And then the last thing for me is some sparkling waters which I do like, yeah, so six of those. And that is all things to do with Aldi. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. We like those. And please do consider subscribing. Try to hit that thousand mark and I know I can do it. So thank you for taking that little bit of time out of your day to watch my video i truly appreciate it wherever you are please take care be good to yourselves and to each other don't let the negative people win they're just jealous and let's keep smashing this life i will see you all soon in a brand new video god bless bye for now